Hey everyone, Stefan here from ProjectLifeMastery.com and welcome to 21 Questions with Stefan James. 21 questions of some of my favorite things. Now, I bring up this subject because this is actually something that someone wanted to know a little bit more about me, uh, a fan, a follower of Project Life Mastery. They really wanted to get to know me more on a personal level. They wanted to know some of my favorite things, my hobbies, my interests, uh, my past, my story, and I thought, you know what, might as well record a video for this, put it up on YouTube. Maybe some of you guys are also interested and curious to know, uh, in which case this video is for you. I think you guys might enjoy it. Um, some of you guys might not even care at all, <laughs> and that's totally fine as well. This is more so for the people that um, are really curious and they wanna know me a little bit more. So I've got here on my computer 21 of some of my favorite things, some questions that this person sent me, so I'm gonna do the best that I can to answer them for you. Uh, when I was thinking about some of these questions, it's really hard to pick one thing. I might have more than one answer. Um, and then also, if you guys have follow-up questions for me, then leave it as a comment on YouTube. Um, because I'll do the best I can to answer them uh, as well as some of my favorite things. And if you guys are interested in other subjects, getting to know me a little bit more, uh, I'm happy to do that as well. Um, do some videos on it and uh, have you guys a chance to get to know maybe some things that you wouldn't normally know about me um, unless I actually explicitly share them like I am right now. Okay, so some of my favorite things. First is uh, favorite thing to do. Okay, what's my favorite thing to do? Uh, believe it or not, my favorite thing to do is to learn. <laughs> Uh, I'm kind of a nerd in that way. I love to learn. I'm, I'm like a self-development geek. Uh, I love to improve myself in whatever way that I can. Uh, it's been that way since I was 17 years old. My favorite thing before that was playing video games. And then once when I, hit, when I was 17 years old, I got into the whole self-development thing. I became so obsessive about that because I'm obsessed about with anything that can enhance my life, anything that can improve my life, my relationships, my health, my emotions, my business, my spiritual life. Um, I want to learn. I just have a thirst and a hunger to, for, for knowledge and to improve myself. And I think that obsession has gone even further now because I feel blessed to be able to do what I do and be able to um, you know, learn and be able to share with you guys. And that's another intent that I have behind it because I realize that the more that I learn, the more I can share, the more that I can give. Um, and uh, everything in your life can change if you make a, a commitment to improving yourself. And so that's probably my favorite thing to do. If I were to give another answer, I love to travel as well as, you know, that's up there too. Um, traveling the world and seeing different things and trying new things. But learning is my favorite thing. Uh, favorite color. Uh, my favorite color is blue. Um, my favorite fruit. <laughs> uh, my favorite fruit is actually blackberries. Um, favorite vegetable, I'd have to say, uh, I'd have to say, that's a good one. My favorite vegetable is probably wheatgrass. And to believe, you know, wheatgrass is actually, I hate the taste of it, but it's amazing for you. In fact, I think there's, you know, you can look it up, but I think an ounce or two ounces of wheatgrass is the equivalent of consuming like two pounds of vegetables. Uh, wheatgrass is like one of the best things that you can give to your body. And it's basically like grass that you get juiced and a lot of juice bars, they have it. Um, and I've been, I've been drinking wheat, wheatgrass for years, but the benefit that you get to your health is just, beyond anything else. So for me, that has to be my favorite vegetable, but I love greens. Anything that's green that has chlorophyll in it, um, I, I love because that's gonna be the best for my body. Um, what is my favorite food? Uh, my favorite food is, uh, I'd have to say Thai food. You know, I, I love a lot of different types of food, but I'd have to probably say Thai food. Um, specifically, uh, I love ye uh, yellow curry. Um, you know, yellow curry with like brown rice and vegetables with either like tofu, prawns, or chicken. I don't really eat much chicken or meat, but usually more seafood or, or tofu of that nature. Uh, I'd have to say Thai food, but I love Mexican food. And I also, I love raw food. I mean, raw food is, raw food is actually probably my favorite. Um, I love raw food restaurants. And if you haven't been to a raw food restaurant, you're missing out. Um, a lot of people think that, it, you know, raw food is like, just eating salads, but you can do so much with raw food. Like you can, um, like for example, there's a raw food restaurant called Zen Lounge here that I go to. I brought, I did masterminds and stuff and I bring people to that restaurant. And uh, you know, they have raw lasagnas, you know, they have raw, raw burgers, they have lettuce wraps, um, they have like raw tacos. Like, they, you know, it's like with raw food, you're just being like super creative in creating a healthy version, a healthy alternative of foods that already exist. And so it's like vegetables, nuts, seeds, 
um, you know, raw food that's actually really good for you. So you actually feel good when you eat it. And for me, I don't really eat necessarily for taste. I eat primarily for fueling my body and for whatever's gonna nurture my body the most. And then if it tastes good, that's great as well. But I eat primarily for fuel and for the nourishment that it will give my body. Uh, favorite restaurant, I'd have to probably say Zen Conscious Lounge. Um, that's the, uh, a restaurant here in Yaletown in Vancouver. It's like two blocks from my apartment. Um, it's actually, it's a raw food restaurant. All the profit goes towards charity, which is really cool. And this is a really cool vibe, really cool environment. The food's really great. Um, another great one in Vancouver is called The Foundation, which is a vegetarian restaurant. It's one of my favorites as well. Uh, it's kind of like more of like a hipster kind of crowd. And I think I'll give you, it's, it's hard to pick one thing, but I'll give you one outside of Vancouver. Um, I'd have to say one of my favorite restaurants is Tao in Las Vegas. I'm not sure if you've been there or not. It's in the Venetian Hotel. Um, Tao is like a just really amazing environment. It's one of the best restaurants I've been to. I think it's one of the top ones out there. Uh, but there's a huge Buddha in this restaurant. Like it's just like a massive Buddha. It's actually a nightclub, Tao nightclub as well. And the food is really good. Um, it's kind of it's, it's it's like Thai Thai Malaysian food. Um, and uh, yeah, I've just ha I've had it. I've been there a few times. And I just always have a great time there. Favorite animal. Um, <laughs> My favorite animal would probably be the lion. Uh, you know, I love lions. So they're the king. Um, favorite day of the week is Monday. Um, for whatever reason, Mondays is like, I just feel the most on. Like I just feel, like I usually do stuff on the weekends, like usually either business work or maybe I'm traveling or I might be doing something fun. But for me, like Monday is like, it just triggers something within me where I just get like focused for the week. I get organized. I am really productive. Um, you know, I do team meetings with my team on Mondays as well. Uh, so we go over things for the week, the different results. And um, I don't know, I just find Mondays, I'm just always, I've never had a bad Monday. Like Monday, I'm always on on some level. So I'd have to say Monday is my favorite day. Uh, what's my favorite book? Uh, my favorite book would have to be Awaken the Giant Within by Tony Robbins. Uh, I've read that book twice, and uh, he also has a bit of a shorter version called Notes from a Friend. And um, he also has one called Giant Steps, which also has different summaries from that book because it's a pretty long book. Um, but that's a really great book because it goes into just some, some like a really amazing concepts. I really enjoy, it's like a very enjoyable book to read, a, raw, a lot of really inspirational stories, a lot of amazing tools and things you can apply to your life. Um, so I'd have to say that's one of my favorite books. It's really influenced me a lot. I remember reading that book, I think when I was, um, I remember reading it when I was, actually one time I was in Toronto when I was like 20 years old. And I took it with me and um, I started reading it then and I, I, I read it, I reread it a few years ago um, and yeah, that, that's probably one of my favorites. Um, <clears throat> what's my, who's my favorite role model? Uh, it's pretty easy, Tony Robbins. Many of you guys know uh, when I was 17 years old, when I got into self-development, Tony Robbins was the person that I, I got into at the time and I didn't know anything about self-development when I found out about it. I didn't even know that it existed, um, but then I discovered Tony Robbins and I, I think I must have watched something or uh, I, I remember listening to his Get the Edge. I remember going to the library and he had his personal power tapes there and I started listening to them that way. Uh, but he really, he's my favorite role model because he's just really impacted my life the most. Um, you know, he really made me believe that I can change, that I can improve myself. He really installed the, the growth mindset within me and he created a lot of motivation and fire and he was just the kind of human being I believe who is just most well-rounded in every aspect of their life. You know, there's certain role models that I have for fitness, and then there's certain role models I have for success and for money and for business, but Tony Robbins for me is the person that represents everything. He's the person that not only has the financial success, but also the relationship, the emotional uh, happiness and fulfillment, the vibrancy, the energy, the passion, um, the, you know, the giving mentality and all the different things that I strive to be in my lifetime. So uh, he would have to be my number one role model and person who's influenced my life the most. Uh, what's my favorite brand? Um, I'd have to say either Apple uh, or Nike. Um, Apple I love, I, I mean I've got all Apple products, MacBook, Apple Watch, iPhones, two iPhones. I just got the iPhone 7, uh, the 7 Plus. 
uh, iPad. Like I just love Apple. I don't know what it is. It's like, I remember when I used to be a PC guy and I was hesitant to make that transition to Apple. And then when I got into it, it's like, you just become addicted to them. It's like you're a raving fan. So uh, I'm definitely a raving fan of Apple. Uh, I love Nike as well because um, I really like their branding. Like they, they obviously have a lot of professional athletes, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, um, that represent their brand. But I don't know, I just always, athletic gear, I always buy Nike. Like I never buy Under Armour. Actually, that's not true. I do have uh, Under Armour stuff too, but primarily Nike, Nike shoes. Um, so yeah, I love Nike. Uh, what's next? My favorite website, projectlifemastery.com. If I were to give you a website that's not my own, um, the website I most frequently visit would probably have to be YouTube. Um, Facebook as, as well, but I think with Facebook, it's like sometimes there's a love-hate relationship with Facebook because Facebook, Facebook can like really suck you in and become an addiction. So I sometimes like to take a little bit of a break from Facebook. YouTube I like just because I think like Google and YouTube are the best websites ever invented. Uh, it's like you have access to so much amazing information at, at your fingertips. You can just type in a few words and just find the answer to anything that you want. You know, in fact, last night I was, I was kind of like on a learning binge for the whole day and I was reading books and I was watching YouTube videos. I got really into just really studying more on psychology and different documentaries I, I, you know, I found and learning about our brain, the different schools of psychology, the seven different schools and uh, Sigmund Freud and psychoanalysis, all this different stuff. So for me, because one of my favorite things to do is learning, I love resources like YouTube because I can get access to information and just continuously learn um, you know, right at, right at my fingertips. So I'd have to say YouTube is one of my favorite websites. Uh, my favorite movie. Uh, that's a good one. My favorite movie I'd have to say is, I'd have to say the Rocky series with Sylvester Stallone. Um, Rocky is, uh, you know, just, I, I, I've watched the whole series, all, you know, all five, all actually six, uh, you know, um, multiple times. And I think one of my fa the favorite one I'd have to say is like Rocky II. Uh, Rocky II is the one where, well, Rocky I is inspirational because, you know, Rocky, like, has got all the odds against him and he makes the impossible possible and he goes the distance with the champion of the world and he makes a name for himself and he just wants to be somebody, right? And then the second one is when he, you know, he retires and, uh, you know, he's got nothing else to prove or whatever. And then Apollo Creed keeps going after him to try to invoke him to, to, for a rematch. And he does and he actually... He actually wins and then he actually has an incident with his, hopefully you've seen the movie, but he has an incident with his wife where she's pregnant and then you know, he loses all his drive. He loses all his hunger because he can't train. He's so focused on his wife in the hospital because uh, she had you know, an accident or whatever from stress and uh, she, goes, she goes into like a coma and uh, you know, finally like, he com she comes out of that and he gets like super determined. And so I love movies like that that are inspirational, that really awaken within you what's possible. And uh, movies like Rocky, I can't tell you how many times that movie's like motivated me to work out afterwards, right? You watch the movie, you watch the training scenes, and then you want to hit the gym. So I'd have to say the Rocky series is one of my favorites. Favorite TV show? Um, I'd have to say, I mean, the NBA, basketball. I, I'm not sure if that counts or not. Um, but yeah, I love watching basketball. Uh, sometimes I watch a little bit too much during the regular season, so I'm trying to cut back and watch more so the playoffs. Uh, but uh, other than that, I mean, if, you're, if I were to give it a TV show, I'd have to say Seinfeld. You know, I love Seinfeld. I've watched many reruns of Seinfeld. Um, you know, Seinfeld, Friends, you know, those are great ones. I've never really gotten into too many like of the series that are out there because for me, like TV is, is just a huge trap. You know, it's the uh, electronic income reducer is what I like to call it because, you know, you can really become addicted to watching TV and you can sit there for like hours and hours a day. Like the national average is like six hours a day of what people watch, spend time every day watching TV. 
And so for me, like I used to be one of those people and I remember like just seeing my life pass me by. And so I got rid of my TV for many moments in my life. And um, I've been always very hesitant and strategic about what I watch. Like I love watching documentaries. I like watching like shows like Shark Tank or Celebrity Apprentice, things I can learn from that are inspirational as well. Shark Tank is actually probably one of my favorites too, Shark Tank and, and Dragon's Den. But um, yeah, like some of these series, I just haven't got into because I know like you just get sucked in. Like uh, for example, my girlfriend and I were in Dominican Republic and we decided to get into a series to watch together. And so we decided to watch Lost, which was on Netflix. And Lost is several seasons. And, and it's like, when you watch one episode, these, these, you know, these TV shows, they know how to suck you in, right? They know how to use the, all the psychological tricks, all the loopholes, or the open loops and stuff to make you wanna tune into the next episode to find out what happens next. Uh, so Lost, we, we binge watched that series within a few weeks. Uh, and it was great, you know, it's a great series, but I also, I understand, it's like once you watch one or two episodes, then you're sucked in, and then it's a, it's a, a lot of hours of commitment. So we might get into like a new series together, like maybe Game of Thrones or something like that, but I don't like to go overboard with TV. Um, okay, next question is favorite comedian. Uh, favorite comedian would have to be Kevin Hart. Favorite uh, actor. Favorite actor would be, I've got a few of them, that's tough. <sighs> My favorite actor, I mean, I, I love Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> uh, I love Arnold, I think he's, he's funny. I love, I mean, I just love him in general from, you know, his story. Uh, it's got a great biography called Total Recall, which is really great, but um, uh, inspirational story. I mean, I love, I love his movies, I love his, his, his humor, uh, it's great. Um, other than that, I like Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, I think he's done some really amazing movies. Um, and then also, I also like Matthew McConaughey also. I think uh, he, and Interstellar. Interstellar is one of my favorite movies too. Um, yeah, there's, a, there's actually a lot of actors I really like. But I, I'd say those are my, some of my top three. I'm not really good at this game, as you can tell. I, I uh, have more than, one, more than one answer. It's hard to pinpoint just one of your favorite things. Favorite uh, documentary. Favorite documentary would have to be Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead by Joe Cross. Uh, that's a great one. Um, yeah, and, and he has a part two as well. And I, I just finished the 15 Day Juice Fast. I did one this year, I did one last year too. Really was in, inspired by the documentary. Uh, and he's got a follow up called Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead 2. He's got a great book called Reboot with Joe, best selling book. He's also got a book called Fully Charged. I have yet to read that one, but I read the reboot with Joe one, which is great. So that one made a big impact in my life, but there's been many more documentaries. Uh, documentaries around, you know, um, with food, the food industry and things of that nature I really like. Um, yeah, that, that's the main one I can think of right now. Favorite cartoon, favorite cartoon. Um, Okay, well, when I was a kid, my favorite cartoon was Ninja Turtles. Okay, Raphael was my favorite favorite uh, Ninja Turtle. So I loved Ninja Turtles when I was a kid. I was a Ninja Turtle for like Halloween one year. I, uh, uh, you know, I had Ninja Turtle video games and action figures, all that sort of stuff. Uh, favorite cartoon though, actually, when I was like, you know, more in like high school was Dragon Ball Z. Uh, I used to actually really be into anime when I was, I went through like a phase of just loving anime and Dragon Ball Z was like my favorite, you know, favorite series, favorite cartoon TV show at the time. Uh, so Dragon Ball Z was m one of my favorites. And if you want another favorite TV show when I was younger, I used to, I used to be obsessed with wrestling. WWF, WWE, WCW. Like I was, I was in the whole phase, man, The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. And I used to have the posters and the t-shirts and the action figures. Like I was like one of the biggest fans uh, for a certain point of my life as well. So that was also one of my favorites. Uh, favorite superhero would be Batman. I've got a few more questions left, uh, guys. But uh, yeah, Batman, one of my favorites. Favorite sport is basketball. Um, favorite video game. So I used to love video games, um, grew up with them, but uh, my favorite, oh, that's really tough. 
I'd have to say, well, like one of my favorites is uh, Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII on the PlayStation. Man, I remember being sucked into that game. I was, uh, I was in elementary school, I think, at the time. I was really young. No, I was actually, I was like, man, I must have been, I was really young when that, when that game came out. But um, yeah, Final Fantasy VII, that, uh, that you know, it's, I have a lot of uh, memories and a lot of hours that I put into that game. Another one when I was in high school was uh, Diablo II. Uh, I was a big Diablo II fan. I spent many, many hours playing that game building up my characters and collecting all these items and stuff like that. And this is before my self-development days, um, but I remember I was so addicted to it. And when I got into self-development, I made a decision that I was gonna get rid of all that stuff. I got rid of my PlayStation, I got rid of all these games. I sold, I was able to sell my characters, I think on Diablo 2 or some of the items and stuff and make a bit of a profit at the time as well. Um, but yeah, that was, you know, those were definitely probably some of my favorite video games. Video games for me, like I have a PlayStation 4, I don't really play it. Like I actually play UFC and like NBA 2K17 I got. And I, I more so play with friends when they're over and stuff, but I don't, like I, I, I realize that video games is like a huge addiction and they profit off of you being addicted to it. So I'm very careful about getting too involved uh, with certain video games also. And my favorite possession, last question. Favorite possession that I have would have to be uh, Probably, probably my, that's tough. Probably my, I'd, I'd say my MacBook, my MacBook Pro. I'm hoping they come out with a new MacBook because they haven't come out with a new one in a while. I've got the, I love my iPhone. I've got three iPhones now. Uh, I've got the iPhone SE, the 7S, and the 6S Plus. Um, I, I have them more so just for, for live streaming and things of that nature. Um, but also, I'd have to also maybe say my Kindle too. Like I've got the Kindle Paperwhite and uh, I just bought the Kindle Oasis, which is coming uh, pretty soon as well. Maybe I'll do a video and just kind of share with you guys a little bit more about the Kindle and I'll do a comparison of the Kindle Paperwhite versus the Oasis. But I bought the o Oasis because it's better for speed reading um, in, in terms of like flipping the pages and stuff. You just, you, you don't have to like press to flip the page. You just like have a button on the side that you just press, press, press and you can really speed read books. But my Kindle has like, I think a couple hundred books on my Kindle now. Um, I have a couple hundred books that are in boxes and stuff. I don't really read paperback books anymore, but um, not unless I can't find it on Kindle, but Kindle is one of my favorite possessions because like my Kindle is worth thousands of dollars to me because there are hundreds of books and I've spent thousands of dollars on all these books that I have. I haven't read them all. Like I've only read, you know, I, I buy books. Anytime someone recommends a book to me, I buy it. Anytime someone recommends a seminar or a course, I always buy it, I always sign up because people in my life, I, they're in my life because I respect them and I trust them. So if they recommend a book or a seminar, or a co a co I, I just don't even think about it. I buy it, I don't, I don't write it down and buy it. I just buy it right then and there on my phone or on my Kindle and I will get to it, you know, that's, that's my belief, is that I need to have this resource and it's gonna be something I don't have to go through and read right now, but I can, I'm gonna read it when I finish this book or a few books and I'll have it in my library for a time when I'm ready to read it. So for me, like, I just love learning and knowledge and so my Kindle is one of those devices that has so much amazing life-changing stuff that is there that I can get access to at any moment. So again, more than one answer, but uh, all, all of them kind of go together. I mean, really, the, the MacBook is the ultimate because the MacBook has Kindle on it, has everything on it. So my MacBook right here, and this, this is my income producing machine right here. This right here is what you need. It's amazing. This technology I can bring with me anywhere in the world and I can use to make money anytime, anywhere and build a whole business off of it. So a MacBook is, uh, a computer is one of the, the greatest inventions that we get a benefit from. So that's it guys, 21 questions, 21 of my, some of my favorite things. And if you guys wanna know some more of my favorite things, leave a comment below. Uh, I'll do the best I can to comment back and answer and share some of my more favorite things. I'll maybe do another video like this as well if you guys are interested in learning more about me that uh, might go into some other things that you guys might wanna know about me, some personal things in my personal life, but I just thought it'd be a fun way for me to share and open up a little bit and uh, for you guys to get to know me a little bit more. 
So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like the video, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, and uh, subscribe for more videos, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Take care.